Okay, so we rendered the UV map coordinates, and now we have something like this. Now we save dead like PNG uh, 24 bits with alpha channel, which means that we will have a transparent background, and uh, you have to use just 24 bits because when you go to 48, it don't support uh, alpha channel. So anyway, here we go with that. Uh, probably see there's something because it's a transparent background so let's create here another layer place it under that I will call this like UV just UV should be enough and just BG like background so I will fill this uh, bottom layer with black okay so here we go with the texture or with the UV map coordinates and Let's look. As you can see, it's clearly to see all the lines and everything, which is great right now because uh, we need to apply or create uh, some textures right now. Okay, now let's go back here. Uh, if we open the UV map editor, we will have again the same, which, uh, how we left that before. Let's minimize that and let's go here. And we'll just select this one. Okay, let's go like that. Okay, this one, and we'll grow this probably two times. And if we open that, we'll see where the stripe should go. So just scroll down, and it should end up here somewhere. So I'll go here and look. Here should be the more or less the same. Depends on the resolution we rendered that. As you can see, here are not all the lines which are here, but it's fine. You can still guess that it should be just here. So I will drag a line here, a guide, and now I know until here should be the stripe. Very easy. Uh, I move the background so once the back. Now somewhere here should be the second stripe should end up somewhere here and start somewhere here. Uh, I'm not sure where. So again, I will do the same. I will scroll somewhere here. Select this. And grow this. Two times. Okay, let's zoom on that. And it will end up here and somewhere here. So here should end this one and probably somewhere here. Yep. Yeah. So here we go uh, with the coordinates. Where should be the stripes? Uh, anyway, if we will do something bad, we, will, we can go back and change that anytime. So don't worry about this. So <coughs> here we go with the stripes, but also I mentioned that I want to place there some text. Now the same, I will look where I want to post the text, so okay, one, uh, let's say I would like to place somewhere here, so which part it is, yeah, it's, the, it's the last part here uh, below the wing. So again, I will go to Photoshop and I'll place it somewhere here. Okay, here will be the one text somewhere. Uh, now, I want also to place text here. So just check where it should be. Now it's in the front. So, I'll go here and I know that somewhere here should be my second text between these two lines. Uh, okay, uh, one more thing <coughs> should be wide like this. So, oops, Let's zoom on here and should be somewhere between this square. Okay, so I defined the lines. Now we can start to create the texture finally. <coughs> okay. So, let's say you have an idea how to create that, or how it should look, I have. So you need some textures for that. 
the textures should match a bit uh, the look of the missile in real. Or if it's fiction, it doesn't matter, but still, people are fixing in, in their heads some objects which they saw. So, if there should be some kind of robot, there should be a lot of metal, so not plastic and stuff like that. Maybe also plastic if we go to the movie I remember, but, but it doesn't matter. So, I have the Hellfire missile before me, and I know there should be nicely uh, uh, do it. No. There should be a texture which will, should be some kind of green or dark green. So uh, I was looking for textures like this, and I found this great metal aircraft panels, which absolutely match to what I want to do. So I will use this texture like a base texture. So Control A to this texture, Control C on that, and I named this the like AA PNG, but you can call it. Uh, like you want. I will place it here. So it's pretty big. So I think I will scale this down. I'll scale this down until here. Maybe a bit to the right or to the left. Also here. Okay, uh, this is my base texture, and here is some text which I don't want, so let's first delete the text. But the first thing which we'll do. So, let's go to the clone brush. We can make it a bit soft. Make enough big. Check a pattern here, and just brush away the text. Now, as you can see, here on the top, here on the bottom, is some difference in light. So what I will do, I will check again the brush, but this time a heel brush, and brush over the edges. Now, the edges will be now melt together. Or baked together. So there will be a difference still, but it will not be to see right now. Oh, just a bit. <coughs> so now we'll play a bit with the base texture, just to make it uh, really nice, and just to make something which we want it will be. So let's brush over this too. Here were some lines. Uh, I don't want this one here. Also this one. And what else? We'll delete this, this, we can also that, and we should end up with a nice and clean texture, which uh, is uh, more or less different uh, from the main texture we had before. Okay, uh, I will copy this, I will transform it in a vertical way. And place this down. Now, I will select both of them. Control E. This will merge them together. Oops. Let's see, I did here a bit. One step to the right. So one more time. Control E. And this will be our base texture. Now we can again hit uh, the healing brush and brush away few things if you want. It's not necessary, but if you whoops that was a bit too much. Here we still have this wasn't a good move, so let's go back and let's try to brush this away, which I again forgot. Okay, this should work on this. Okay, great. So uh, we have here the base texture. One more time, it's called the base layer, and we can continue with that. Now we can drag the UVs above that, so we'll see uh, what is where and so. <coughs> okay, let's start with the yellow stripes. <coughs> now I should uh, I have here a sign or rescue of an arrow, which I will use like pattern for uh, the yellow stripe. So what I will do, uh, I will just select everything here, 
control C, I will go to my A, P and G, place it here. Now I will delete the rescue sign, of course. Uh, I don't want it there. Uh, we, we can use the healing brush, oh, stamp, stamp tool for this. And I will brush away the text. So after that, I will have a clean yellow stripe. Which I will use. Now I'm using the real world uh, texture here because still it has some pattern there, which is really really nice for the close shots or some details. So if you can try to use every time this kind of textures, you don't have to think about how it will uh, how it will look after. Okay, so here is our stripe right now. Okay, let's go to the mask. The others will be a bit higher, and I will call it yellow, just yellow. And I know it should go between these two lines, so it's a bit too big. So I will just place it somewhere here. Hold down Shift and crop it down or scale it down. So on this axis, and let's see, it should be somewhere here. Okay, just hit enter. So here will be a yellow stripe. Okay, we will. We are not finished with that, of course, but just to place it there. Now, the yellow stripe should have also some corners, some pattern on it, and stuff like that. <coughs> so, uh, we should do something like this right now. So, what we can do to change the appearance a bit, uh, we can check a slice of that, or select a slice, a small slice. Not so big, a bit smaller. Uh, of the texture, so let's turn off snap <coughs> and let's select a small part ah, like this. Control C, Control V. <coughs> and let's go back to snap. So now we have distant line. Let's place it back and we'll apply above this line some stuff. So first of all here in saturation we'll create a clipping mask of that and a bit colorize this. We need a bit dark color like this. Now above this <coughs> we will apply levels and make it again a bit darker. <coughs> so we, we Basically, making just a layer which is above the main layer, and uh, which uh, which will be a bit darker than the layer before. Now we can rename this to yellow stripe, and we can try some. Uh, blending options. Now the multiply is pre pretty nice there. Also the color burn it's uh, nicely. Let's go to overlay. Overlay is making... I will go to we will multiply with here. So we'll have here a darker stripe then it's the rest of the yellow stripe and uh, right now uh, I will do here some masking. So let's go to the mask. Let's get us some brush. We'll go with the black color, and we need some ground brushes. So I have here a lot of brushes, and uh, you need to download some from the net. Just use from abstract or ground brushes like it's here, and you will get uh, stuff like this. Now it's objects or brushes which are. Which don't have any any shape, any ordinary shape. They are really, uh, I will say, a bit strange. And with them, we'll 
using also the mask and uh, delete some stuff. So I will make there some breaks which will make uh, <coughs> stripe used. You know that some somewhere something is missing and there is a, I don't know there's just some stuff like this. I don't know how to express myself right now but it should be uh, Uh, some kind of pattern which is on that stripe where uh, a kind of that is missing like we'll do right now or in a minute and um, I don't know to look it more real there have to be some cracks on that there is anyway a painting so we'll do stuff like this okay so if we are done with this, we'll use, uh, we'll make again a layer. Hit here Control C on this. Oh, better, I will do it later. Uh, sorry for that. I think I will do here a bit more of this. We'll check right now another one. As you can see, the brushes are too big, but we need to fade that. This was too much, and the ground brushes or abstract brushes are ideal for that. Okay, oh, cool. I don't need that. So, uh, oops, we have the first line. Now we'll copy the stripe. First, make a group. Just select that and hit Ctrl G to group it. Now I will copy that. We will try to copy, and I will just move it to the bottom. I will apply transform and horizontal transform on that, so it will be mirrored from another side. And we will have here this. Okay, now let's go back to a yellow stripe. Now, also the yellow stripe should be should have some damage there. But to make that, we'll group again everything together. Yellow stripe and apply a mask above all layers here. Now again, we'll try to find and choose some stuff like that and we'll make the same which we did before, but now on all layers together. Now, this will make a nice effect that they are blended together or they are just one. Okay, let's find, we can, oh, this is too much, even that it looks great, I think. It's just too much. Okay, can make here one and here another one. So we have here these breaks or some cracks uh, here. And the next thing which we'll do is we'll apply or create a new layer about that. I'll call this yellow stripe white. And now we just uh, uh, White brush will create the same patterns which we did one more time, but now using just a white brush. We'll go also to the rest of the texture here. So I will create something like this here. This is too, too big, so I will go with a smaller. I will create something like that. It's way too big. Ah, this, is, this should be fine. So, uh, right now I want to create an effect that the textures are baked or they are one. Can go. Oh, this I don't like much. Uh, this is cool, but too big. Here's some cracks. Uh, ok. 
Okay, let's find something useful anyway. This I think the most used. Okay, so we have here these white white things. Now we don't want that the white things will be so white there. Again, we need to blend them together. So let's try some multiplies to pick, but there should be some blending option. Ah, this one. Soft light, it's enough. So the soft light will place the texture inside and make an effect that these stripes are not like artificial placed there, but there, there was already on the texture and you need, uh, you see here is some, I don't know, water or something, uh, some stuff that they are just uh, on the texture. Okay, so pretty simple. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, we have the back stripe, or the yellow stripe on the back. Now, uh, it would be nice to have uh, something similar also on the front. So, we should have here still the yellow. So I'll just copy that, place it above, and can create, I think, new group. Again, just hit Ctrl G and call it the front stripe. And let's go here. Now here, uh, on this stripe, uh, stripe, I will not do the smaller ones. I will, anyway, keep it also like it is right now. Uh, so we will have here just uh, this texture here, and we will place here just few artifacts, like with the... Uh, with the mask, we will do the cracks into the painting. Oops and other stuff, but still uh, we're trying to keep it very small, we don't want to make there a lot of this stuff or that they will look too big or anything else. This wasn't a good idea. <coughs> so just a small pattern of that. Okay, can create here in the front one more. Big one. Let's let's go with the big one here at the end. Probably it will be not a good idea to place it in the end. So let's go here. And uh, about this again, we will create. Oops. The yellow stripe, white, where we again brush with uh, the white brush again. Something like this. Again, uh, we don't want to place a lot of them. Oh, it's the same like I have before. So, smaller ones. Just to have them there. Okay, we'll go with soft light like we did before. And make them really, really uh, just a bit there, not much, just a bit, just to have something like something there. Now uh, we have the front stripe, we have the well, let's see the back stripe, and I will, I think, do also one to the very, very rare. Where is the exhaust? Um, maybe. Now let's look. <coughs> yeah, probably it would be nice to have something like this also here. But first we need to define where it is, so it's absolutely on the back. So, it's absolutely on the back. Okay, why not? be probably a bit more interesting. So, I will copy it both of these, the front stripe. I think I will just place it here and so far keep it like it is. Okay, it should be somewhere here, just here.
I will call this Pextripe without a copy. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, I will keep this so far how it is. So we have the stripes there, and now let's go do some text. Now let's go first with the name. So again, I will create a new layer called text name. And so how to call this? Okay, I will call this rocket or missile with x01. Oh, y x but looks like uh, it sounds like very nice. Now we need a font for this. It should be some kind of military font, uh, and I'm sure I have something like this here, probably used also before, like on the laser rifle. But I can't remember how it was called. I think this one would be perfect stencil. Yes, yeah, so this this is good. So rotate it by holding shift. Oops. Now place it somewhere here. No, it's a bit too big, so we need to make it smaller. And place between our two lines. So somewhere here will be our text. <coughs> now we need the texture for this. Now again, I will use this texture which we created before uh, for the text. So let's find the layer where it was. So where it was? Yeah, here. So Control C. Let's go here to the top. Control V. Do it like this. Create a clipping mask from that, and we will have the same pattern on that. <coughs> Uh, th this looks enough. And under this we can place still another text. Just this will be the main text and we can place the something other. So uh, let's find here something. <coughs> it is not... Yeah, why not this? Here are some numbers. Let's go with this. We'll see. We'll see something. So just copy that. Place it somewhere, let's go here. Now again rotate, make it smaller. Now I move that. So let's go here. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's zoom on this. And when we are here we'll just change the Blending option to dark and it will blend together. So we're, we're really great. <coughs> so we have here the number. Now we should go again text. I want it there text and I will use this. So we'll just again Control C, go here. I hope I have the good direction of the text. Not no problem. And again, I will just go by darker and it should blend together with the rest of the texture. Now here we can do it a bit bigger, something like this. It doesn't uh, matter that it's hard, hardly to see. It should be hardly to see. I, I want this to be hardly to see. Okay, so uh, not a big problem, as you can see. Now, uh, because we created a texture uh, like this so it's like a bow up texture and we have the uh, here the openings for this we can he uh, do here also something uh, here for the openings and create here something should be covering the holes or will be around the fly wings it c could be uh, or it can be anything but uh, there could be also some like uh, small or really soft pattern of 
uh, some stuff which we have here. Let's look. No, not this black stuff or something like this. It's too contrast. <laughs> no, uh, I don't think that anything from here, but still, it would be nice to have or something. Now we can do here again the the white stuff, which we did also. And the rest of that, probably we will do that. And probably it would be nice to do it right now. Let's call this just white, and we will go straight to soft light. And a bit bigger. We'll do here some stuff like this. This is way, way too big, it's way too small. Uh, we don't have to place anything there into the middle part because there will be anything. So I don't know. I think this should be anyway enough and we'll also drag this the OPCT down like to fifty, just to fifty. To make it a bit uh you know dirty. Yeah it will make a nice effect. So okay, uh still we have here the UVs which have to be covered somehow. Okay, here are the holes uh, of this one. <coughs> now, what we can do here? I'm thinking, but nothing is coming into my head, which I don't like when this happens. So <coughs> let's see. We can make there some stuff darker around. We could make there... Okay, I know what I will do there. Uh, I will just copy the base. We'll go to Burn Tool. Uh, it like this and probably smaller. And we'll just brush over that like this. So the stuff around the wings will be darker. And the right inside will be not to see and just brush. If you have a tablet, it's great. I don't have it right now by me. But it worked. So I need to brush with my mouse, which is horrible. And I guess this is one side. This should, this should be the other side. So it looks horrible. I don't like that. Still, I will do something like this, but I would like to do it a bit different. Different technique, let's say. So I will do a selection. I just didn't like how I brushed with that. And. If I don't like something, it's very hard to work with that after. So I will make a selection and refine or modify the selection by expanding 10 pixels. <laughs> I will fill this with pure black. Where is my black? Here it is. Now I will filter this and apply the Gaussian blue on this. I want it to be very smooth in the corners. Not too much, like this, and also let's find. Yep, this one, soft light again. So we'll create this stuff, something similar which we will achieve with the burn tool, but a bit more uh, precise right now. Okay, um, let's make a group of this uh, burn and I think I'll just copy this. You can make a new selection, stuff like that, but you don't have to. Ok. 
Okay, here will be the one half and the second half will be somewhere here. <coughs> Something very similar we'll do also here. So I'll grab here again this make a new layer before I refine the edge. So select modify expand fill it black and apply the Gaussian filter on that soft light. Let's go here by around sixty sixty something and again we'll just move it. Oops. Okay. Still, we can control the opacity from here. Let's go here to 82. And we apply this back. We will have here the stripes or the stuff, rectangles, defining or something, some areas where should be the wings. Uh, okay. Now. When I'm looking on this right, uh, I think we covered everything. Uh, what should be there? So we have there the text. Let's go back to max for a while. Can turn this off. So we have this stripe here, text here, this stripe here, this stripe here, the texture here, the text here. So. More or less, we have everything, and we really don't want to do texture like there is a lot of stuff which we even don't use. It will be looking a bit strange, and there will be overfilled, let's say, from that. Still, uh, I will make you one more thing. Now, the thing will be for the wings, so I will use my base texture which I have here. Uh, I will steal from here a stripe. Uh, let's go with the back stripe. I will place it above everything. I'll place this one here, make it smaller. And later, I will grab this texture and apply to my fly wings. Now, this will be applied just to the back wings. So there will be uh, the texture and a stripe. I think it will be looking not pretty nice. Oh, nice. So pretty easy to do. Now what I will do in this part uh, more uh, is that I will do I think also the name shield. So let's go here. I will use something like this. I was really looking for the name shield which I uh, which I uh, could use for that, but I really didn't find anything. And I will start from uh, looking. So I found this. If you know German, you immediately know what is it. Even if not, because uh, it's for measuring electricity or what you uh, what you took from the network, so how many kilowatts per hour you used. It's a very old machine, as you can see here is the ring which is rotating, still it's, uh, it can be found in older houses. And I will use this one here, because here are some numbers even that here is uh, uh, written that, no it's not in German, it looks like French, my bad. Still it's the same base of language. So never mind. Uh, so we'll use this one here for the name shield. So what I'll do, I will just copy this. Still, doesn't matter how what will be there. Uh, we'll took uh, or take a bigger shot from that, from a bigger distance. So here we have with the shield. Now the shield. Uh, oops, I don't know what language is this. Probably French. It doesn't matter. My bad for the first time. So it should go here. Now the ratio is more or less the same. So 
as long as uh, also so we'll use this one uh, what we can do here is we'll change some stuff usually it's black and white now it's a bit uh, blue there which is not so bad I kind uh, I really like the blue uh, but still we can change everything there if you want if not we can just keep it like it is still uh, I will do there some color balance uh, we don't want actually more blue there, but make it a bit darker. We'll fade the blue away a bit. <coughs> now let's go to levels. Make that a bit darker in this way. And can try also this a bit. I don't know actually what effect this could do there, but oh, it's not like it like that. So <sighs> copy that layer, Control Shift U. We'll apply slightly blue on this. We'll go to multiply and drag this down to I don't know forty percent. So just make it a bit different like it was before. Make the highlights a bit different. So okay, this is great. <coughs> okay, so this will be our name shield. Uh, yeah, I know it's not intent for the missile. It's not intent for a model but still we can use that and I don't mind if you just find your which will report better than mine but I don't care okay so we have the main texture we have the name shield and uh, I will stop also in this part and I will continue in the next part where we'll do the whew, what we'll do yeah the panel now this one we need still do this one here it should be uh, or will be just some merging of this stuff here this we have uh, this we have two actually this will be texture turbo texture blah 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 okay we will do few more textures also we need for the small missile texture which we can apply there so um, we have still some work to do and I will I think keep this for the next part just to not get too tired Ooh. so uh, thanks for watching again I hope so far you like even not sorry for that but it's not my fault uh, I'm kidding so I will see you in the next part uh, where I hope we'll finish the textures and in the part after we'll do final rendering I really hope it will be a nice missile at the end. So again, thanks for watching and bye bye.